in the last class we derived the Planck's black body radiation distribution <coughs> function for for which more or less he was uh, awarded the Nobel Prize in 1918 but the Nobel Prize says his Nobel Prize is for quantum statistics right. So he got the Nobel Prize in 1918 what we saw yesterday was an abridged proof of his theoretical development but I think most of the important, important points were covered. In today's class we will look at uh, the Planck's distribution further and try to see if we can extract more information from the Planck's distribution okay. We will also look at uh, okay we have been seeing only the mathematical form if we plot the Planck's distribution versus lambda how does it look how does it look for various temperatures can we derive additional information from this and so on. So that will be the goal of today's lecture okay. So let us start let us start with the Planck's distribution. From now on we will jettison this or we will get rid of this plank I B lambda means it is only plank okay. C1 was 1.198 is it 19 okay. As students of radiation you must remember all this you must remember C1, you must remember C2 and you must remember sigma. You do not have to remember C1 and C2 even if you know H and Boltzmann constant K you can get C is equal to 2 H C0 square C2 is equal to H C0 by K okay. Now when C2 by lambda t is much much greater than 1 divided by e to the C2 by lambda t is much greater than 1 therefore e, e to the power C2 by lambda t must be much much greater than 1 so this becomes what is this I B lambda it's not religious I B lambda ah. so when C2 by lambda t is much greater than 1 it means it is valid for very short waves very short values of lambda good for short wavelengths okay. Because C2 by lambda t is when will C2 by lambda t be much much greater than 1 when lambda t is very small. So for short wavelengths it is a reasonable approximate when C2 by lambda t when C2 by lambda t is much less than 1 What is this now? Religious. 
okay. So, the Wien's distribution and the Rayleigh genes distribution are two asymptotes to the Planck distribution. While the Planck distribution is valid for all values of wavelengths, the Wien's distribution as well as the Rayleigh genes distribution are valid for some portions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay. So, good for And you can do a you can do a good exercise C2 by lambda t equal to 10, C2 by lambda t is equal to 100, C2 by lambda t is equal to 1000. Find out I B lambda from Planck's, find I B lambda from Rayleigh genes or Wien and compute the percentage error and you will be in a position to understand what is the what is the penalty you pay for using an approximate expression for the two asymptotic limits. Is it okay? No. So far, we have seen only the mathematical development. What does IB lambda look like when plotted on a graph sheet? Okay. So, some books also plot E B lambda versus lambda. Okay. Watts per meter square Let us take T equal to why are we so much worried about this 6000 Kelvin? Sun temperature. Sun temperature. Okay. So, please, please calculate for lambda equal to 0.5 micrometer what should be the I lambda for the sun for the radiation from the sun. Okay, I want this value. Suppose I am having this point, what is the value of I B lambda? Please calculate. So, I will say lambda equal to 0 0.5 micrometer. From 10 to the power of 6, 7, 8, 9, what is it? Huh? Okay. So, okay, so it is 3.2 10 to the power of 7. Okay. Uh, if this is 0 0.5, zero point five one one point five. Okay, zero. Point five one. Please calculate at, please calculate at 2 micrometer, please calculate, huh? please calculate at 2 micrometer and somebody else should calculate at 0 0.1 micrometer, with 3 points we will try to generate a curve. One point six. Okay, so we will keep this. 
how do we start? Hmm? Let us keep this as 10 to the power of 7, 10 to the power of 8, 10 to the power of 6 and we do not worry about this. Ah. Yeah, what did you say Vikram? This 1.6. Yeah, now calculated 0 0.1 micrometer. 457? 457.2, that is all. That is 0? We can take it as 0? Okay. Okay. So, Now, in fact, this highly is an exploded view. I mean, the scale is very much stretched. If you put lambda equal to 0 to 100 micrometer and all that, it will become very, the curve will become sharper. Okay. Now, I can have various curves. So, this is let us say t equal to 3000 Kelvin, I will say t equal to 1000 Kelvin. You can check it, you can you, you can shove in all the values into your calculator and then get the function out. Okay. So, what are the important features of this IB lambda? Is everybody through with this? So, what are the important features of this IB lambda with lambda? Point number 1, IB lambda is a continuous function of lambda, it is never discontinuous. For every value of lambda, there is an IB lambda, point number 1. So, you can see, so you can put the title as Planck's distribution salient features. IB Planck distribution salient features, point number 1. I B lambda continuously varies with lambda. Okay, number one, I B lambda continuously varies with lambda. Number two, for every temperature, there appears to be a peak. Okay, for every temperature, there appears to be a peak. For every temperature, not there, a, there is a peak. Okay. For every temperature, there is a peak. Point number 3 for a given lambda, IB lambda increases with temperature. Is that clear? You take any, you take any lambda. I B lambda for 1000 Kelvin is here, I B lambda for 3000 Kelvin here. In which it is also intuitively apparent from the second law of thermodynamics that more the temperature higher will be the I B lambda. Okay. So, for, for, ev for every value of lambda, I B lambda is a, I B lambda increases the temperature. Okay. <coughs> Number 4. the peak of the IB lambda keeps shifting to the left, that is the peak of the IB lambda keeps shifting to the left for increasing temperatures. Okay. How do we get this peak? We have to get the peak now, we have to do some calculus, we will do that now.
you want to answer this question okay therefore I do not want to differentiate with t because I know anyway it keeps on increasing with t only with lambda it increases and decreases therefore if I put d by d lambda and make it equal to 0 there is hope that will become stationary I can get, get that value of lambda okay, or lambda t which will give me the maximum of i b lambda. Okay. Now let us do let us do the Okay. So, I am integrating by parts, I am differentiating by parts. Okay. I, I take this as e to the power of c 2 by lambda t minus 1, I take it as a product. So, first minus 5 lambda minus 6 divided by this plus I take the lambda to the power of, okay. then e to the power of c 2 by lambda t minus 1 inverse will be minus 1 divided by e to the power of c 2 by lambda t minus 1 whole square multiplied by no no into e to the power of c 2 by lambda t into minus 1 c 2 by lambda square t why <coughs> And differentiating with respect to which was you are able to see the force maximizing the distance from the teacher, okay. That is your objective. No, no, I am just joking, do not you you went through the optimization, is not it? Of course, <laughs> mini max criterion, remember mini max criterion, okay, fine. Now uh, this fellow has to be equal to 0. Okay. I am going to work on this uh, since it is being recorded we will uh, do it fresh. Okay. So, minus 5 minus 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 what happens there is a minus again right. Is that right? Yeah. Is it okay? Now we start cancelling. Okay. Now. minus minus gets cancelled. So, 5 Let c 2 by lambda t be equal to x. Hmm. 
we need to solve for x. Unfortunately, it is a nonlinear equation or a transcendental equation which has to be numerically solved. If you solve this equation, you will get that x plus or x star. x star is that value of C2 by lambda t which will make IB lambda stationary. Okay. You can take this, we can do it, wait, wait. So, this is a this is called a transcendental equation. I have to numerically solve this. Let me use the method of successive substitution. So, I will rewrite the algorithm as I rewrite the equation as right. So, I will say the algorithm. Start with some x i, get x i plus 1. Treat this x i plus 1 as an x x i. Keep on doing it till x i plus 1 minus x i divided by x i modulus is less than or equal to some acceptable criterion. That is called the convergence criterion. It is also called the, what did we call it in the earlier course? Stopping. Stopping, Stopping criterion. Correct. Let us do this. Let us start with a good Start with x equal to 3. Do not start with 4.85, Deepak, you are cheating. Start with x equal to 3. Hmm? You can start with 100 also. Let us start with 3. Is everybody through with this algorithm? Okay. So, you have to put a tabular column, iteration number x i, x i plus 1 and error. Okay. Iteration number. That is called the norm. Okay, it is called the norm square. Huh? Norm is one important. Norm is one usual criterion applied. Okay. Now, one, three. So e to the power of three minus one divided by e to the power of three into five is the x i plus one. What do you get? So what do you get? 4 point? Yeah, error 1.75 whole square. Samajit, tell me the error 1.75 whole square. 755 or? 75. Fine, okay. Now use this value of 4.75 as the value of xi. Ah, error. So, what uh, 0.04. No, no, I want three decimal places 960. Ah. It has become silly already, error. Ah, <laughs> please tell me. 
10 to the minus? 1.9 Hmm. Now we'll kill it. 4.964 should give 4.965. Ah. 1 into 10 to the minus 6. Stop. Okay. So the root of this equation phi equal to x e the x my by e the x minus 1 is 4.965. We can solve it using the Newton Raphson method also, but it is painful because e to the power of x by e to the power of x minus 1, but the gain is instead of 4 iterations, first hit or second iteration it will hit, you will get the answer because you know that it has got what type of convergence? Quadratic, Quadratic convergence. Okay. Therefore, x star Two eight nine eight micrometer Kelvin. It's called the Wien's displacement law. You don't require Planck's theoretical distribution to get this. From curve fitting, also you can get. People could have done measurements for five temperatures, and then they could have found out why lambda max into t is two eight nine eight. Then what should be the I B lambda, which will ensure that lambda max t is two eight nine eight. So, a lot of people would have tried different things. Only if you put E is equal to n h nu, or E dash is equal to n h nu, you will get the correct. You will get the correct back body behavior. Okay. So, this is the Wien's displacement law, it is a very profound result, it is a very, very profound result. You thought it is simply some mathematics, we differentiated something and now look at the sun's temperature 6000 Kelvin. So, the lambda max corresponding to solar radiation is half a micrometer because this is 3000, this is 6000. So, lambda max for solar radiation is 0.5 micrometer, so very important because 0.5 lies in the visible part of the spectrum, that is why you are having daylight, that is why earth is so habitable. If the sun's temperature were to be some 12000 Kelvin, you are all 24 hours you require light because there is no sun, there is no photosynthesis blah 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 blah, it will be are getting the point. Lambda max is 0.5 micrometer and 0.4 to 0.7 is a visible part of the spectrum. That is why from incandescent bulb we went to tube light because daylight, daylight, we want to mimic daylight, CFL, LED. Because we, I mean we, we, I mean we want to have a light which is equivalent to we want the lighting should be equivalent to what we have outside. Then in a normal daylight, uh, is that clear? Now, my temperature is 37 degrees centigrade. Okay, the shirt temperature is 3, 37 degrees centigrade, 310 Kelvin. Suppose this green color, the suppose this green color were to be because of emission. So for 300 Kelvin, what will be the temperature uh, for the I mean, what will be the lambda? Okay, so 10 micrometer is in the visible part of the spectrum, that is in the infrared. What does it mean? This is green because it reflects, it absorbs all the other wavelengths. So, 
from Wien's displacement law we can understand for all practical purposes color is basically based on reflection rather than emission. If you want to see really emission temperatures based on emission you have to take iron rod heat it in the smithy heat it red hot then whatever temperature you are getting is the emission temperature otherwise this the color of this chair is red because it is it is because it is reflecting red are you getting the point. So, color can be because of reflection can also be because of emission is that okay. So, then the fundamental question why is the sky blue in color Raman scattering all that this leads to all those questions. So, the Wien's displacement law is a very powerful law so, is that okay. So, where you want your uh, suppose you want to selectively absorb some radiation where do you want what should be the characteristics of your plate and all that that should be based on the temperature of the source then I B lambda corresponding to the source you ensure that you want to capture the maximum amount of radiation in that portion of the spectrum where its maximum also is there are you getting the point. What is the point in having I absorptivity in the wrong part of the spectrum okay you cannot be a good solar uh, designer unless you, you are you are a stud in uh, electromagnetic radiation and you are good in radiation loss is it okay. Now, let us look at something is even more interesting I B lambda I did not do anything except to write the Planck's distribution, but uh, I, I would like to do something now I want to look at this. I just want to take I B lambda divided by T to the power of I and see what is the story. By innocuously dividing it by a simple quantity like T to the power of I right hand side I am getting a very profound result what is that result the right hand side is a function only of is a function of lambda T only. Okay. Therefore, get only one curve because lambda and t I have fused I have merged ok. So, the units are very difficult for this watts the radian ah, this fellow Now, there is an acid test of whether you understood the developments in today's class. This corresponds to corresponds to very good 2898 micrometer Kelvin that is the story ok this is max. Lambda t. It does not matter. No, no, no. I am, div I am taking if you take a lambda t product, body is at 500 Kelvin, uh, it is emitting radiation at 0.4 micrometer, 0.4 into 500 or 0.4 into 2000. I am finding out I B lambda by t to the power of 5. All the curves merge into one curve, you do whatever you want you have the equation go to excel and keep doing it 
finally everything will fuse into one curve that is called the universal black body distribution function it is called the universal see in that in that the maximum occurs at lambda max t is 2898 which is basically the result you get from means displacement law ok. If you get the area under the curve and treat it to be unity, then between two particular lambda 1 to lambda 2, you can find out what is the fraction which is emitted in a particular band that is very important for a solar collector. What is a for example, you want to design a solar collector, what is the percentage of radiation which is absorbed or for example, emitted in in the visible part of the spectrum. So, you will have to find out this fraction. So, black body radiation function the, these are called f function charts. What is the fraction which is absorbed? In the next class, I will distribute the charts we can solve some problems. So, if i b lambda by is divided by t to the power of 5, then the curves get displaced. The curves get displaced such that only one curve emerges which is the universal black body distribution function. Therefore, some people argue that because certain cur curves get displaced, this should be the means displacement law and not this. This is actually the means displacement law, all the curves are getting displaced <coughs> and they become one curve, is it ok, fine. what happens if the Planck's distribution is integrated ok. So, you integrate over the hemisphere no d lambda sorry. particular lambda only. No, I am still having black body is diffuse into cos theta right, correct. This we can replace it as I could have simply written like this, I just I am just writing it so that you are able to recollect what we did in an earlier class. Now, E b of t It is not easy to integrate this. Hmm? So, you can see you are already able to see that it is not going to be easy. Huh? Let us try if we can do something with this. Okay. So, already we introduced an x, x was c 2 by lambda t, and once we introduced x, it was easy for us to get the Wien's displacement law. Therefore, common sense demands or common sense at least tells us it hints that we can try with x equal to c 2 by lambda t and see whether we can proceed a little further ok. Let so, first what will happen to the limits of the integration 
we are doing it at a particular temperature we are integrating only with respect to lambda all this is for a particular temperature black body at a particular temperature <coughs> yeah what will happen to the limits okay this is 0 to infinity huh? infinity to 0 okay so therefore phi uh, no i am not really doing justice okay I will write the simple things first, much more work is required, okay, we will do that. Okay, dx what are the, did you give some numbers, why do not you give numbers, what this 3, eh? we will give, we will give a sign number 3. It is easier. What happens now? Oh, minus comes again. I'll, I can change it to no? I can get rid of the minus. I can make it again 0 to infinity. Okay, no problem, isn't it? Uh, lambda to the power of minus phi C2 by lambda square t e to the power of c2 by lambda t minus 1 dx so e b of t is now some pi 1 pi was there right pi c 1 is there Okay, so pi pi c1 c2 by 0 to infinity uh, I made a mistake no 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 here dx into no no yeah okay so d lambda uh, yeah wait <coughs> Correct. So, lambda squared t by c2, then minus c2 got cancelled. Okay. So, it is all slippery, so I have to be careful. So, pi c1 by c2, huh? where is the t? I am getting one more t, there is no t here. Okay. Now, lambda cube, huh? what do I get here? Lambda cube. Okay, lambda to the power of minus 3, 1 by lambda cube, yeah, t, c2 is there, I have taken out, that is it, why did I do this, e to the power of x minus 1 dx, okay. I can put again lambda equal to correct lambda equal to C2 by xt. Therefore, x2 x cube divided by divided by. Now we have to integrate x cube dx by e to the power of x minus 1. It is not easy to integrate. Some special formulas are derived for that, but we now know the result, right. Please note that I have taken t out of the integral because the integration is with respect to x or lambda, right. Now this is where
people have integrated this and they found that this is equal to pi to the power of 4 by 15. If you do not believe this, the assignment is coming. So, numerically you will integrate using Simpson's rule, trapezo Simpson's rule trapezoidal, trapezoidal rule, Gauss quadrature, whatever. Now, now we are home E b of t equal to, now you put in all the values. So, this is that A c by 4 from thermodynamics. Hmm? Huh? Now, please you should get 5.6 to the power of minus 8. That means, we are home. If you do not get that, then we have made a, we have made some fatal mistake somewhere. Deepak is checking. Huh? Ah, 6, 5.6, so, but okay, you can give that concession to me, so then 5 point, okay. So, this is 5.67 10 to the power of minus 8, what I am trying to tell you is, this is this, this is like the, like the sun of the solar system. Black Planck's black body distribution. I put the Planck's law, his picture, and the the year he got Nobel Prize. Now, to for the limit lambda c2 by lambda t is very small, Rayleigh and Jeans. When c2 by lambda t is very large, Wien's law, right? When you differentiate, you get the Wien's, Wien's displacement law. When you integrate, you get the Stefan and Boltzmann's law. Okay. So one picture says it all. How many classes we spent to derive all this? Okay, now, but it's. Uh, I thought about it yesterday, so I gave the framework. My PhD student put all these things together, put the picture, and I'll make copies and give it to you. Okay. Yeah, this is all from internet, so make it more colorful. Black body radiation. So there are three three surfaces given: surface temperature of the sun, carbon arc lamp, and lamp filament. You can see uh, the visible part of the spectrum is here. I B lambda versus lambda looks like this. Okay, it is also of interest to physicists, astronomers and all these people are interested in this, right. And uh, you can see that uh, the I b lambda non-linearly non increases with temperature, okay, for 3000, 4000. So, obviously, they are looking at celestial bodies, they are having high temperatures. We are looking at 300, 373, maximum 1200, 1500, that is the engineering temperature. We are not worried about 6000 is the limit for us. After that, we are not interested. But if they are looking at stellar dynamics, they are looking at the radiation from other stars. They want to find out interplanetary distance. They are proposing some new theories in astrophysics. People like Hawking and all those people will be interested. Okay. 